Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new here, my name is Quinton and on my YouTube channel you can find all kinds of cryptocurrency content such as cryptocurrency news, reviews, my own portfolio, tutorials and much much more. So if you're new to the channel and that sounds interesting to you, I would suggest you to uh, smash that subscribe button down below. Alright guys, let's get started with the coin news of the week. And first of all, I want to give a shout out to the long term partner of my channel crypto.com. So last week uh, it was my birthday and I went to have lunch on Saturday with my family and I paid um, in uh, crypto with my crypto.com uh, visa card. So it was pretty cool and I actually used it already a few times and every time I use it uh, the, like the waiter is always saying something about it like yeah that is heavy or oh that looks cool what is it? Um, so it's pretty cool I mean like you also get like the possibility to spread the word about crypto because they often ask about it what it is etc and you can give like a little bit explanation like yeah I pay with my cryptocurrencies I top it up and then I pay with this card it's a debit card etc so it's actually a very cool way to spread the word about crypto like this in a very natural way um, if you also want like a crypto.com visa card there is a link in the description down below and if you go for a metal card then you get $50 for free you can go for a metal card if you stake at least $200 worth of MCO tokens, but you also get like um, cashbacks. It is 1%, 2% cashback, sorry. Um, and you get free Spotify, etc. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it's just staking, so you can unstake after half a year if you want to. Uh, there are like higher tiers as well, but it starts from $200 onwards. But like I said, you will receive $50 for free as well. So actually, just needs to stake $150, right? So there is a link in the description down below. All right, now let's dive into the first news item of today's video, which is that South Korean icon boards the DeFi train with DAO platform. So South Korea's leading blockchain platform icon is delving into DeFi with its own platform called Balanced DAO. It is a decentralized autonomous organization on the icon network that creates tokens packed to real world assets. So DeFi is very hot, we already know that the value locked up in DeFi is quickly going up. A month ago this was only 2 billion, right now it's over 4 billion dollars already and really um, the DeFi projects are like shooting out of the ground like, like it's nothing. So they're popping up everywhere right now. And now Icon also has like its first um, DeFi uh, platform that is Balanced DAO built on Icon. And for that platform, they are using the Band DeFi protocol to provide oracles and securing the data and price feeds for the platform. Um, the funny thing is that Icon is also working with Chainlink for other things, but right now they also integrated um, Band um, or decentralized Oracle network for their first DeFi product Balanced DAO. So really cool that Icon is also jumping on the hype let's say but I think they cannot stay behind so it makes sense that everyone is going to launch like DeFi platforms right now. Okay let's check out the second uh, topic of today's coin news and that is that Visa announces the efforts to integrate digital assets to its payment platform. So Visa stated that digital currencies could help in offering better services and expansion of the network that would support modern forms of trade and exchange. The Visa team stated that one of the partnerships is entered into is with Coinbase, a licensed and regulated digital currency exchange. So what is Visa actually looking at? Of course, it is especially stable coins. And why is this? Because this is, of course, the most safe for them to like uh, use cryptocurrencies and to use blockchain technology. So stable coins are the futures, CBDCs, central bank digital currencies are also the future. Um, but we see that Visa is right now also looking into it. And um, you know, they cannot stay behind. This is the future. 
and the longer they stay behind the, the the more like they need to catch up with the current technology etc so they know they need to move right now they can fight it as long as they want but eventually they need to join us they need to join crypto so they are currently having several par partnerships and one of them is coinbase and they're looking into the option of like working with uh, stable coins digital currencies um, in the future so really cool news for all stable coins but actually for cryptocurrencies in general because it's yet another one to join us instead of keep on fighting us so really cool news all right the third topic of today's coin news is that bitgo now supports custody and staking for uh, tezos XTZ. So BitGo has added custodial and staking services for the Tezos blockchain's native token XTZ. So investors who store their XTZ with BitGo will earn an annual staking return of around 6% across BitGo's hot and cold wallets. In October 2019, BitGo added support for proof of stake tokens Dash and Algorand. Um, an XTZ market cap of 2.4 billion, of course, dwarfs these tokens. So it's the first very big proof of stake cryptocurrency that BitGo, the custodial service, is going to offer. And of course, BitGo is one of the biggest custodial services in the crypto space. So it's very big for uh, for XTZ, for Tezos to be added on the platform. So you see that Tezos really has like a lot of um, attention coming from these big companies. We also saw it being the first um, proof of stake coin being added to coinbase staking you see that big corporations are looking at tezos maybe right now not a lot of news is coming out for tezos but behind the scenes this is a very hot project not for the retail investors like you and me but you need to look past that and then you see that it has a lot of interest and a lot of big corporations are working with tezos trying out doing pilot programs etc so tezos really want to look at and it's also in my portfolio of course so pretty cool that bitgo now added custody and staking for um, tezos as well all right the next news item is v chains Toolchain further powers DNV GL's MyCare to onboard leading shipping company Colorline. So one of the largest shipping companies in Europe, Colorline, announced that it has received verification for infection prevention processes and measures from the Norwegian classification society DNVGL under the MyCare methodology. So MyCare solution, uh, DNVGL and VeChain are making joint efforts in the promotion of this, so the MyCare solution, the new digital product offering. Of course, it is powered by the one-stop data blockchain as a service platform, VeChain's toolchain. So it's one of their uh, products that VeChain launched and it really has like more and more adoption coming and actually at a very rapid pace so vchain also want to look at as my care continues to demonstrate an extremely high level of performance in standardization and scalability it paves the way for its further expansion in other sectors such as the hotel industry public spaces shopping malls and downtown offices so even though vchain is not like the hottest cryptocurrency in the space anymore like people investors have like yeah, they mostly look to new newer projects that didn't really had a bull run yet. But VeChain already is around since 2017. And you see that these big corporations and associations are looking more and more into VeChain to do like the tracking uh, of all kinds of logistics. So recently we also saw like uh, partnerships with big corporations such as Sam's Club and Walmart China and Buyer China as well. But also besides that, they still have partnerships with BMW, uh, BYD, Auto, PICC, H&M, ENN, Shanghai Gas, LVMH, uh, known from luxury brands like Louis Vuitton, DIG, ASI, etc. So a lot, a lot more of companies are currently working with VeChain, trying it out. So like Walmart China, Sam's Club, uh, Buyer China, they are all doing pilot programs with VeChain, um, with all kinds of, of, of tools that they offer. And yeah, now, right now, they're also like conquering the shipping industry. So that is also pretty cool. The next news item is that the Winklevoss twins Gemini to offer custody of 
dot crypto blockchain domains uh, so the Winklevoss Brothers Gemini Exchange now offers custody for its crypt.crypto domains. Really cool because the .crypto domains can deploy hardware wallets like Ledger for secure storage as well in the future. And it's all, it already registered over 200,000 .crypto domains and it is backed by, uh, of course, billionaire investor Tim Draper. Um, we talked about unstoppable domains from the very first day and I'm very happy to see that they're still developing into a big company and getting more and more integrations and for those who don't know what unstoppable domains is well basically you can buy a dot crypto domain so I'll put the link in the description down below and if you buy a dot crypto domain there you can connect all kinds of cryptocurrency wallets to that like a Bitcoin Ethereum Zilliqa a Litecoin address and yeah, then if people um, send it to your dot crypto domain, so for example, let's say that dot crypto gets integrated in Ledger in the future, um, and people send like money, doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zilliqa, Litecoin, they send it to uh, Quintefrancois dot crypto, so my name dot crypto, um, then I will receive it in the right wallet. So really very handy to, to do something like this. And also aside from connecting all kinds of wallets to your uh, name domain, let's say, you can also build like an uncensorable uh, website uh, with that. So people can on the decentralized web go to your dot crypto domain and you can build a website for that so how cool is that um so yeah dot crypto domains on gemini now as well and i don't think it will take long before other exchanges will start integrating it as well and very soon in the future i guess that um that like hardware wallets like ledger will also integrate it so then we really are going to see a mass adoption of this and of course it's more convenient than having like this decent all these numbers etc i mean like if you just say to people yeah dude like the transaction to uh, quentin francois crypto yeah it's of course a lot easier to do right all right the next news item is a polkadot polkadot did a second ico or a second fundraising raising another 43 million dollars in 72 hours and it was only a private sale so a second private sale of the polkadot token dot netted the web3 foundation and parody technologies some almost 4,000 Bitcoin worth an estimated 43.3 million dollars and of course they did already an ICO back in 2017 fundraising it 50% of all their tokens were sold in a private sale netting over 145 million dollars so I don't know why they need like another 43 million dollars but anyway Polkadot is is actually going to be one of the biggest uh, cryptocurrencies in the space um, in terms of diluted market Cap. So if you go, for example, to uh, Misari.io um, and you go to diluted market cap, you will see that Polkadot is in like, I think the top five already in diluted market caps. So uh, Polkadot, very big and of course a very big um, and, and ambitious project. So yeah, I don't know why they need another 43 million, but they did maybe just because they can. Now let's talk about the last news item of today's coin news. And that is that Grayscale is now holding $5.1 billion worth of cryptocurrency. So that is pretty sick. So digital asset management firm Grayscale Investments now hold more than $5.1 billion worth of cryptocurrency assets. The firm added more than $1 billion worth of investments in July alone, which underscores the growing institutional demand for crypto so before that it was only 4 billion right now it's 5.1 billion so in july alone they saw an increase of 25 percent of the holdings under management so that is really sick and of these 5.1 billion a staggering 4.3 billion dollars is uh, the grayscale bitcoin trust so it is holding bitcoin um it's solely responsible for 84 percent of all assets under management here we see like an overview we see like the bitcoin trust is 4.3 billion dollars then they also have like bitcoin cash trust only 12.8 um, million ethereum trust 580 million ethereum classic trust 80 million etc what is very cool or very remarkable is that they have one small cap 
here uh, two small caps actually like horizon and and zcash is also not like a big one anymore um so yeah they, they have added like two of these very interesting to see horizon between all of these names i mean like these are very established names then we see horizon so yeah maybe there's something good about horizon uh, i need to check that out more in detail but as you can see most of it is held in bitcoin so uh, we see institutional demand growing which is very nice we see it also in backed so the backed platform is also like setting new records of people uh, buying on the platform also institutional investors so that is very nice all right guys that is it for this week's coin news if you like the video as usual give it a thumbs up i always appreciate that and if you're new to the channel please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below to stay updated to all these cryptocurrency news reviews my own portfolio tutorials and much much more i thank you for watching and i see you next video cheers bye bye